I am recording the Loom video and I can look down here at my web camera vision. Right now I'm on the smaller version, but I could make myself larger within the screen if I wanted to and then also bring it back down. I could make it full screen if I wanted to. So you have some options even while you're recording that you could be sizing yourself up to talk to your students more directly and then sizing it back down when you want them to see what's on the screen. So I thought that that was kind of cool that you can do that while you're recording. But what I would do with this most often, I think, is to use it on documents like this that I can then show students um, how to respond or I can mark things up within Word. I like the ability within Word that I am able to use the draw feature and I can then add things if I want to. Like, let's say I want to create a table and I'm talking to students about how to create a table. And I have these four tools. So I have four tools. I have the rows and I'm going to put Screencast-O-Matic here in the first. I'm going to put Screencastify here in the second. I'm going to put Snagit here in the third row and then I'll put Loom down here, best for last, at least so they say, <laughs> uh, down in the bottom row. So I could do markup like that while I'm discussing or showing my students what it is that I want them to do. As you can see, I was also able to pause my video so that I could make some changes to the document and then come back in. So uh, I, if I had told you I was going to move each of those tools into the respective rows, now I've already done that, so I didn't have to waste the time during the video to do that. I can look at features, I can look at price, and again, I could talk to them about it first and say, look, price on a lot of these things is actually going to be free. Screencast-O-Matic has a very nice free version that allows you to record up to 15 minutes, I think. Um, you can download your files into your Screencast-O-Matic account, or you can send them, uh, save them as files on your computer and then load them wherever you want to. Screencastify is a very similar kind of tool, but it's an add-on to Chrome, which makes it kind of nice because if you are a Chrome user, then you're able to have that as a little widget up on the menu bar when you're in your browser. And anytime you see something that you want to record in your browser, then you can just click on it and it starts up the recorder for you. Snagit, I'm actually using Snagit right now so that I can make a recording for you about making recordings with Loom, which is a little bit weird, but there you go. Snagit is not free. But there is an educator version, which is $29. And for $29, it's not a $29 subscription fee. It's $29 straight up to purchase the license for it. So to me, that's just the best money I'll ever spend because it also does all the screenshots and markups, all these handouts that I send you guys. I end up using Snagit to do a lot of that stuff. And then Loom. Today, I found out when I was looking at a list of free things, uh, about a week ago said we are going to make our product free for educators. It will remain free for educators. That is the pro version is free for educators forever and ever and ever. So then once I have this stuff typed in here, you know, I, I can do it with the markup and then clean it up later. I paused the video so that I could put the actual text in there. And then I could look at the features for the students and say, well, Screencast-O-Matic is a great tool because your CTLA is quite familiar with Screencast-O-Matic and they can help you with that. So I could put that in here as a big plus that the CTLA can help you and you can record for 15 minutes. Uh, you can do the picture in picture like you can here with Loom. Uh, but you know that you have some people who know how to support it who are on campus. And you can't guarantee that with all of these. Uh, Screencastify, maybe I could say one of the nice features is that it's so easy and it just attaches. If you are a Chrome user, then you always have that little icon in your Chrome browser and can just click it anytime you want. 
Snagit I like because it lets me do um, screencasts and it lets me do screenshots, but my favorite part is probably that I can use it to do markup and annotation on the images that I have. And then Loom, I like that they're giving this free version for the educators. I like that they're promising it's going to continue to be free. Um, just as an aesthetic thing and funny on visuals, I kind of like the circle picture inside uh, Loom rather than the rectangular picture in picture. I don't know why. <laughs> Couldn't tell you, it's just a preference thing, which will end up being true for most of these tools. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like to have Loom. I wanted to give you an idea of um, all the things that are out there available for free. Read the blog this week so that you can see ideas of what you could possibly do with screencasting and then, you know, try it out. Make something new for your students for next week. It's really easy to use any of these tools.